This is hard. We lost an icon. She was a trailblazer, a role model, and a friend. Ruth Bader Ginsburg changed the world. I will miss her. Our grief is real, but we cannot slip into despair. We simply can't afford it because too much is at stake. The Republicans are attacking so much that we hold dear. Roe versus Wade, healthcare, dreamers, voting, the fight to be in America where no one is discriminated against because of the color of their skin, because of how they worship, or because of who they love. Democracy, Ruth defended it all, and now she is gone. Four years ago, Mitch McConnell refused to move forward on President Obama's nominee because the president had only one year left on his term. Ruth understood the impact of McConnell's decision on our democracy, and she left our nation a note saying that her most fervent wish was for her replacement not to be named until a new president is installed. But Mitch McConnell isn't listening. He has already made it clear that he and Donald Trump will try to name a new Supreme Court justice with only 45 days until the election. This is the last gasp of a desperate party that is overrepresented in the halls of power. The last gasp of a corrupt Republican leadership that doesn't reflect the views of the majority of our people or our values as a country. With voting already underway for the 2020 elections, let us be crystal clear. There should be no confirmation before the inauguration. Today is the day to honor Ruth with action. Today is the day to channel grief into change. Today is the day to focus on the coming elections. The White House, the Senate, Democrats up and down the ballot everywhere. Register everyone to vote, request mail-in ballots, and fight like hell to rebuild our democracy. Look, I get it. These fights are hard, and at times it can feel hopeless. But remember, hope is not given to us. It is created by us. So we can't give in to fear, and we can't back down. Because the side that seeks to roll back progress and destroy our democracy wants you to despair. Today is the day to dig a little deeper. There has never been a more righteous time to get in this fight. So buckle up for an uphill fight. Joe and Kamala are going up that hill. Candidates running for the Senate across the country are going up that hill. Democrats up and down the ticket are going up that hill. I'm gonna be there with them and we need you too. Go to elizabethwarren.com and find ways to get in the fight. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a fighter. No matter how hard the battle, she didn't give up. And neither do we. We persist.